Kevin Feige has made a suggestion that the MCU may actually reboot or soft reboot after Avengers Secret Wars, if we if that's what Avengers 6 is actually called. But once we get Avengers 6, that they could be using Avengers 6 to actually reboot the property. Now, this is coming from a brand new book that's just come out called, I'm, fr I'm freezing on the name of it. Ray, maybe you can look it up. It's a brand new book called MCU, The Rise of an Empire or The, what, the Growing, whatever it's called, right? So this new book just came out. We're going to be talking about a couple of stories that have been revealed in this book. But one of the ones is that Kevin Feige may actually be considering doing this. Now, this quote that we're about to read is from one of the authors of the book. Oh, it's the reign of Marvel Studios. Okay, MCU, the reign of Marvel Studios. There you go. If this is from an interview on a podcast that one of the authors of the book did. And this is kind of interesting. This is where all this is coming from. It reads as this. We have a quote from Kevin Feige sort of implying that like Secret Wars will serve as a soft reboot in which they can prune everything. And that's not to use a Lokiism. They'll <laughs> prune everything that's not working and just keep what is working or bring back people you thought were gone forever. So they can use this movie. Kevin Feige has hinted to them, the writers of this book, that they're going to use this movie to just cut away the stuff that's not working, shrink the size of the MCU, and maybe even use it as an opportunity to bring back some people. Now look, Everybody who watches this show knows I don't like multiverse stuff. I find it lazy. It makes every it makes your storytelling consequence free. It's like, oh no, my favorite hero died. Don't worry, there's 13 other versions of them. It's gonna be all fine. Like nothing ever happened. Um, but that being said, if they can use Secret Wars to tie off the multiverse saga and use it as a device that gives you a narrative reason for, hey, all these heroes that aren't clicking with people, cut them gone. And oh, it's time to bring back Cap or it's time to bring back Quicksilver, or whatever, you can use quantum synergies as the merging of the timelines, create one main timeline, and that's who's in this now. I mean, is that the return of Robert Downey Jr.? Maybe. Is this the return of Chris Evans? Maybe. Maybe the return of, of Quicksilver or, or others? Perhaps, perhaps not. But it's a really interesting concept because... Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone. But now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Rob, even before the MCU started to sputter, not stall. I don't think the MCU is stalled. I think it's sputtering. But even before the MCU started sputtering, we've all said that, listen, at some point, this is going to get convoluted. Like, it's just growing at such a huge pace. There's so many connected starlines. You're trying to make everything consistent with canon. We're starting to see the cracks in the armor. Could this be a part of Kevin Feige's blueprint that it's like, listen, we know at some point we're going to need a self-course correction. And maybe Secret Wars is that. What do you think about the quote that we heard? And how do you think they could execute something like this? Well, I think that actually because it's Secret Wars and what they're allowed to do, whether it's Battle World, whether it's the Beyonder, however, whichever version of Secret Wars, whatever era they're going to go into, I would imagine the Hickman era or whatever, that they would go with the modern Secret Wars. It allows them to do just that. And I think that after all of these movies, Avengers 5 and 6 would be Kang Dynasty or whatever. That's fine, but I, I, I still am perplexed by how the MCU has not, in phases four and now five, 
has created no urgency for itself. Mm. That there, you know, before movies would build upon movies would build upon movies. And sometimes whether movies worked as well as they were supposed to, like maybe Thor The Dark World didn't work as well as it was supposed to. Maybe Iron Man 2 didn't work as well as it was supposed to. But Iron Man 2 still pushed that narrative forward. And everything built on what came after or, or built on what before, everything which came after built on what came before is what I meant to say. And we haven't seen any of that. We've seen no narrative urgency from one story being told in one film to the next story being told in the next film. And I feel like by the end of Quantum Mania, and you see the Council of Kangs, which by the way was kind of goofy the way it was presented, then what? I mean, then we're going to go to Captain Marvel, and it doesn't look like the story of what we're seeing in the Marvels. What does that have to do with what we saw in Quantum Mania? That has to do with what we saw in Thor Love and Thunder. And I feel that the MCU took us on a roller coaster ride and we were going up, 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 up the hill and, and Infinity War was the rush down the hill. And then the end of that movie hit us and we're, we're going a million miles an hour, like what's gonna happen? And I don't feel that they've done anything like that. Even with the TV shows, there's been no narrative thrust at all. I feel we're watching a rocket on the launch pad that just keeps turning on its engines and not going anywhere. My, my problem is, because while you're absolutely correct, my problem even goes beyond that in the such that even if they had shown the connective threads and how one brick builds upon another, which they haven't done lately, like you pointed out, promise, I don't know that would have made any difference because a lot of their movies and shows just aren't good. Well, yeah. I mean, so that's, so I, so you've got these two problems that are just kind of compounding on each other that at least if you had one, like, you know what? We could probably forgive a lack of the quality in some of the projects if we saw this overall story and development. We maybe could forgive the fact that we don't see any connected story here if the individual shows and movies were good. But we're kind of at a lack of both <laughs> to a degree, right? Which is perplexing. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. And I, I, I still think a lot of this, I don't think it's a coincidence that we started seeing all this really forming, you know, about a year or two after Bob Chapek took over. And, and Kevin Feige had his authority taken away and he no longer could make the decisions that he wanted to make. Now, whether that's true or not, we'll find out in a year or two as now Kevin Feige's got his authority back and we'll see the results of that in a couple of years, but we'll see. But I, it's interesting, the idea that they might use Avengers 6 as their point to kind of reset the universe. Because at some point, you can't just expand, 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 expand. At some point, you got to reset. Maybe this is their way to do it. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.